Here's a quick shot of um, Acacia Maiden Eye in flower, which is why I'm showing it off. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a nice tree in its own right, but these flowers are pretty cool. Uh, and it's profuse, too. And it's just throughout the entire tree. They're covered with these white flowers, and the pollen has subsequently been shedding itself in mass. So it's kind of neat when these things go off. But anyway, Acacia Maiden Eye. Um, from an entheogen standpoint, this has some uh, interest, I suppose. Uh, that it does contain uh, dimethyltryptamine and, and another type of tryptamine. Some other—I don't know if it's one of the methylated ones or—but anyway, it has it has active constituents in it. But if uh, if I may impart one caveat, always do your research before you try to assay anything. Uh, that goes without saying with any of that kind of stuff. Um, but I know some of the fibaceous sources of DMT uh, can be um, bringing along some unwanted baggage that you really don't want to be putting into your system. So, But this may be perfectly fine, but I'm not going to say that. Just do your homework if you're interested, and that's why you're watching this video. I'm just showing it off because of the flowers. I also think this would be a great specimen for Central Florida. It's reputed to, reported rather to go down to... Uh, uh, probably the upper teens, 1920 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so, so it's a good hardy tree for this area. It looks good. It's a little tricky to get turned into a nice form. Uh, this thing's kind of scattered, but, but if you have a little space, these are good. So anyway, Acacia Maiden Eye, and uh, it's in flower there, as you can obviously see.